So Charles Galton Darwin believes that man will never be able to alter and substantially change the human nature through the manipulation of genes. So obviously we read all these popular you know, science articles that describe one day where we will live in this utopian or dystopian uh, world um, where uh, you know human beings where each uh, baby that is born uh, will uh, have will be touched by you know a genetic scientist and uh, you know certain traits eliminated or enhanced you know depend depending on what the parents or maybe even the state wants so uh, uh, you know the author of the next million years says that you know this is too far fetched and that it will never happen because human beings are so carefully balanced that you know if you want to change one trait you have to change other you know traits and characteristics as well uh in a in a gene in a genome in order for uh, these changes to be effective and for the changes to be permanent and also let's not forget that you know the natural selection is still out there evolutionary processes are still out there how will the natural selection react to these uh, mutants whether in the animal or uh, human kingdoms um, you know for example we know that domesticated animals uh, for the most part cannot survive in the wild uh, because they, you know, require nurture, they require, you know, food to be brought to them. They cannot go out into the wilderness and hunt for themselves and mend for themselves. So the same with human beings. Who knows how the nature will react? Uh, you know, there is a, a, you know, another evolutionary process called uh, degeneration. Uh, you know, what it means is that. Let's say you have a genetic tree consisting of, you know, families, parents, you know, children, etc. And certain parts of the tree, certain branches will die off. They will degenerate through the process called degeneration, uh, where, uh, you know, branches that are weak or not fit uh, to exist in the world will basically die off through the lack of progeny.